Welcome back. In this video, we will be learning how to add async validations with React Hook 4. For our example, we will be focusing on checking if an email ID already exists using the JSON placeholder user API. First, let's understand what the JSON placeholder user API does. When you hit the endpoint slash users and pass in an email ID as query parameter, the API returns a response if the email ID already exists. We will rely on this response to add an email exists validation in our form. Now to use this API for our form validation, we'll add a new validation function to the validate object. The validation function, email available, will be an async function that receives the field value and makes a fetch request to the API endpoint. Once we get the response, we'll check if the response data exists. If it does not exist, that means the email is available and we can proceed without any errors. However, if the response data does exist, that means the email already exists in the database and we will return an error message. Let's save the file and head to the browser to test out our implementation. We'll fill in the form with an email ID and see if our async validation works as expected. So copy, paste it, fill in the other details, and we can see our submit button is still disabled. For now, let's remove the not is valid condition and head back to the browser. Click on submit. And we see email already exists error message being displayed. If I change this to .com, submit, the submit was successful and the form fields have been reset back to the default values. No error message when we enter an email ID that is available. We have successfully implemented async validation in React Hook form. Async validation is an important feature to ensure data integrity and improve user experience in form submissions. Hopefully, you now know how to use them with React Hook form. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.